happy Sunday, my lovelies. Right. Ay, ay, ay. It is C to the O to the LD cold in England today. But nonetheless, we're still going to be on our little health kick. But we're going to try and go for some more warming dishes this week, you know. So today, oh, apologies if I sniffle. I think I'm coming down with a cold, which is fabulous. But today, if you haven't guessed it already by the title, this week is Asda. We're going for the 30 quid weekly shopping challenge slash cooking vlog. See what I eat in a week. You know the drill. So done a little bit of prep this week so the meal planner you actually get five weeks on it and then you have a shopping list for every week so ignore the top line because we have done that on the previous week but we have this week we have quite a few new dishes and then this is our shopping list all under 30 quid so i've got quite a few things in mind of what i want to do but I'm not going to tell you just yet because you know what happens you have an idea you go to the supermarket if they don't have the stuff then we've got to start at the drawing board again so yes i've got all the meals planned out i will see you once i'm back from asda because it's about i think half 10 we need to get down there i need to pop into b m as well pick up a few bits so yes i shall see you all once we're back and hopefully it's a little bit warmer because at the minute it's like an ice box but yes i'm going to stop rambling let's get shopping and i'll see you when i'm back see you in a bit two bags and some waters done and would you believe it let's pop you there you're fine we done it under 30 quid well the receipt shows 31.17 no 33.17 sorry but mum's got her paper on there 130 and i saw another mug Yes, you're probably thinking, Shan, do you need another mug? But guys, you know what I'm like when it comes to Beauty and the Beast? And I just saw it and I fell in love. And this was £3.50, which I know is a bit... <sighs> but it's going to go in my cabinet, I think. Because I don't know if I'm going to want to use that. Unless I'm on like a, you know, like a smart day. When I want to feel like a princess. But if we take all of them off, so if we take a mug and we take the newspaper off it actually comes to 28 pound 37 and you know what i think we got quite a lot i managed to get some snacks in there as well so we done it really good and we stocked up with another four pack of water so let's roll a little time lapse of me unwrapping this and yeah then i can show you what we've got planned for this week Do -do -do. Right, I'm going to set you up somewhere different because it's not working. We need to sort the kitchen out. So, you would have seen a rough overview there. As I say, we've incorporated some bits and bobs and I actually budgeted for bits that we didn't need. So, that was a bonus. So, you know from the previous one that i done at Tesco, I'm trying to start having a little something in the mornings for breakfast before I go to work to hence stop me snacking at 10, 11 o'clock. So, I was having breakfast muffins, but... Guys, when I saw the crumpets, and they was in the shape of a teddy, you know I had to have them. Hello, Canon. There we go. Focus on this very rough looking face this morning. Thank you, darling. So yes, yeah, so we've got some teddy bear crumpets. We have a wholemeal loaf, that's for mum and I don't really eat that. And then I picked up a bag of lentil chips. These were only a pound, and I thought, I've had the lentil chips from, was it Aldi? just before Christmas and they're not like the tortillas but they're healthier so I've got them as like my little snack what we have for this week's dinner my lovelies Sunday the best day of the week we've got roast pork so we didn't need any potatoes because we actually picked up a bargain in farm foods we went there I think they're still in the car because mum's still unloading we got five kilos of baking potatoes for 1.99 
they are huge so i don't know if anyone has farm foods near them but please do let me know because i thought literally they just did frozen bits and that was it but they actually have quite a good selection of like sauces and what i would call cupboard essentials so we are in the process of running all of our cupboard bits and bobs down so when i do a stock up of those i'm thinking i might just go to farm foods because the prices were ridiculously cheap as well so if you want to see a farm foods let me know down below or if you think it's going to be a waste of time still let me know and i won't bother so yes we picked up the potatoes from there so they will be for the roast potatoes and later on in the week but veg wise I didn't have them last week, so I had to have them this week, my parsnips. I'm not going to put too much of me uh, honey and mustard and all the oils on them. We're going to try and be good. So I think today we'll have Yorkshire puds, which I budgeted for, but apparently we already had them, so that was a bonus. Roast pork, I'm still having my crackling, I told you. I'm trying to, like, get healthy, but I'm not, my Sunday dinners will not be affected by this. But I am only going to have one Yorkshire instead of two or three possibly that I used to have so that's fabulous so yeah we'll have that potatoes and I'm thinking parsnips some green beans and some cauliflower so that is Sunday done so let's jump forward a few hours and see how the rest of the went Yummy, 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 I got food in my tummy. So we have one Yorkshire, five potatoes as per, green beans, cauliflower, parsnip, three slices of pork under there, and yes, we are having the whole slab of crackling because, hi, my name is Shannon. Oh, can't see you down there. Yes, as I say, hi, my name is Shannon, and I absolutely love pork crackling, and... As we have said before on these types of videos, I know we're supposed to be healthy eating, but I am not restricting myself on my Sunday dinner. We don't have pork every week. Actually, I can't even remember the last time we had pork. So I'm gonna treat myself to the whole slab of crackling. People might think that's excessive, but I've been eating slabs of crackling since I was probably two years old. I always remember we used to go when we used to see our nan and granddad up newcastle there was a morrison's up there huge superstore and you used to go to the deli canner and you could buy the slabs of crackling i would get those but they would do them as like crackling fingers you could get so obviously i'm talking i was only three or four here so i couldn't have a whole slab of crackling walking around so i used to get crackling fingers which were literally just slab of crackling cut into four and five and then my granddad would always give me one to walk around and oh my god i've had a love for it ever since i was a bubba so yes i'm gonna stop yakking we've got the honey glazed parsnips oh my god yes and that is sunday roast pork with all the trimmings scaled back we've not got as many teddies and we've not got as many yorkshires but it looks super delicious still and i cannot wait to eat this whilst watching a film so see you all tomorrow how delicious did that roast dinner look oh my god right we're losing track so monday we are gonna have so as i say i'm still sticking with the two days vegetarian so sunday we had roast pork monday we are having veggie sausages kind of a pasta dish so we've got tons of pasta left so had a little palaver as though because mum picked them up and what's it missing it's missing the price and what it's called so these are asda plant-based caramelized onion sausages so you get 12 chipolatas and they were two pound 35 so what i'm thinking is doing that with some onions peppers baby tomatoes and then penne or fusilli not too sure and then we've also picked up a well i thought i was picking up a roasted garlic but apparently we've picked up a bolty sauce so the um italian pasta bake is gonna take a little bit of a turn because i did pick up a bolognese on because these were on offer for like 80p but I wanted to keep that in because that's the only sauce we haven't got in the cupboard at the moment. So, right, it's going to be a veggie sausage curry flavoured pasta dish. 
who knows how that's gonna turn out let's jump to the future and see how we got on happy monday my lovelies i do hope you're well uh god manic monday eh that is what this day has definitely been so i know today we was due to have the sausage well veggie sausage pasta bake but to be honest i've had my chicken curry for lunch that was leftovers from the friday before and not gonna lie had a crappy evening got in from work was hounded by the council great to which i couldn't answer i was driving they left no voicemail nothing and then i got a text uh, well not text email to say they spoke to someone and case closed so they spoke to mum mum didn't have a clue what they was going on about so she just didn't know what to say and they've took that case closed so to say i was infuriated considering i've been waiting i think 32 days for a response when i was told 10 days and then they close it just like that so i've literally got to start the process all over again so you know when you get angry when i get angry or i'm in a mood i don't want to eat i just lose my appetite so yes there's going to be no dinner tonight i'm afraid but i thought i'd pop on and give you a little update because it's like a little vlog we always have an update so yes no din dins tonight but what i'm going to do i'm going to do that for friday so please ignore the jumbala that i go on about friday for the lentil cottage pie because i'll actually take that and have that for lunch on friday so i'll do a little snippet i might try and sneak my camera into work if i can take just a little pan over of how it looks and then friday evening we will have the veggie pasta bake so yes previous shannon will be waffling on friday about the lentil cottage pie but we would have already had that and then we'll have the veggie sausage pasta bake on friday because yeah i'm just not in the mood i feel like getting my bottle of baileys because i've got a to top up you see i feel like just sitting in my room drinking that because i am so infuriated you would not know but no i'm not going to fall off the wagon i've been doing really good with this healthy eating and not so much the exercise malarkey but hey ho it's baby steps so yes as i say i do hope you had a lovely monday i hope you've had a better monday than what i have but yes i shall see you tomorrow and tomorrow will be the veggie sausages sausage and mash with plenty of veggies again we're just having a veggie week aren't we so yes take care and i will see you tomorrow Bye. so coming to tuesday because they're only little sausages they're like chipolatas so we would have used six yesterday and we're going to use the further six today but we're going to do it old-fashioned we're going to do veggie sausage and mash with gravy but still going to add our veggies in there as well so we're going to do some fried onions and mushrooms i think with some peas use some of the frozen peas but fry them in the locale spray oil that we have and as i say I'm not skimping on my gravy so yes i'm not having any breads with them so that's another thing i normally have a nice bit of like crusty bread or a crusty roll slathered in butter to dip in my gravy but i'm not having that so tuesday is going to be a very quick and easy dinner oh someone's at the door someone's put something through the letterbox and it's just going to be a box standard sausage and mash but we're going to hit it with the veggie sausages and throw a bit more nutrients in it you know to like take away all the fat i'm probably gonna have me gravy oh well big ott maybe oh well i love gravy right hello my lovelies happy tuesday yes it is tuesday so we have the plant-based veggie sausage mash a little bit of tender stem broccoli peas and then some mushrooms and onions so you would have seen that was only one potato from farm foods. I mean, oh my God, they're absolutely huge. So it does look very lovely. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. I've not really got much of an appetite once again. But yesterday, because I didn't eat dinner, by the time I got to lunch today, oh my God, headaches, sickness. So yes, I thought better 
do something just in case so it's only a little portion she says that is quite little i've only got three of those baby veggie sausages but yes yeah, so as i say yesterday was a bad day today i wasn't feeling great either and oh this is what i was trying to show you you're not gonna be able to see it because obviously it's bandaged what i was trying to show you in the other clip was that this morning because i was still in a mood this morning and my car doors don't have a handle with such to hold it's just like a little pocket where you put change and as i grabbed it to slam the door you know when you pull it and i felt my gel come off because i could feel that in the thing and then all of a sudden i felt like this warmness and i was just like oh so i carried on to work and by the time i got to work it was still bleeding and i was like oh my god and it's ripped so like this is my good now it's ripped like right below the nail bed hello so it's probably ripped like about there poor demonstration you can't see but yes so it's all bandaged up because it is killing and the throbbing of it and it's like a black man's pinch on there like it's all gone bruised and that not nice so yes i do hope you had a lovely day tomorrow we have got what have we got tomorrow salmon i believe but i'm gonna enjoy this eat most of it if i can and then i'll give you an update tomorrow on how i feel the sausages were and oh my god i started a series last night because i was in like one of my moods and i just wanted like a good good series to get into but not one that was like three four seasons so i found this one on netflix called chambers oh it's only one season i don't know why but oh my god i've been six episodes last night i didn't go to bed till almost 2 a.m great when my alarm went at six which i snoozed till half six because i was just like death warmed up but yeah i'm gonna finish off the rest of that tonight so i'll give you a lowdown on that tomorrow along with the sausages but yes take care today is the upload also of let's tidy and organize my room the first of many tidy and organization and speed cleans with me this year so yes if you haven't seen that go and check that out i'll link it down there up there you know the drill but yes have a lovely evening and i will see you tomorrow bye and then it's wednesday we are hump day happy middle of the week and we're going for like a bit of a oriental style we're going to have some salmon this week last week we had the mixed seafood pasta picked these up these were 269 i believe the only thing they're not the biggest of fillets i know i want a health kick and everything but if i'm going to have fish i want a nice big bit so i think we will be doing a trip maybe at the end of the month to our fishmonger likewise with our butchers because we're almost running out of the meat that we've got there so we might do actually would you want to see maybe a video because every like two or three months we go to the fishmonger and the butchers and do a big stock up and then every now and again we may go to the farm shop so actually the farm shop could be a good thing if we've done like a little vlog i might vlog if we have like a cozy little sunday where we head down to our local farm shop i might incorporate that in a vlog and maybe would a hold out and do it all together who knows but if you want to see like the butchers the fishmongers and the bits we pick up from the farm shop like supporting all the local businesses please do let me know anyway i'm rambling so yes wednesday hump day we have salmon i'm gonna use the last two parcels of the whole wheat noodles that we got from tesco so there's no need to buy new noodles and then we're gonna have that with some peppers put some onions use some baby corn got my good old baby corn and what else we put? I've got some Cavalanero. So this is basically like a kale. If no one's had it, it's all like from the same cabbage family and that. So if you couldn't find cabbage or you couldn't find just spring greens, anything like that, Cavalanero is actually really nice. And you can fry it till it goes so nice and crispy. And I always remember we had it at the log cabin when I had it on my braised pork belly oh, with crispy Cavalanero my heart but anyway i'm sidetracking so we're gonna have salmon with noodles and then i'm not too sure we've got so many sauces in there that i don't quite know what we're gonna go for yet am i gonna go for maybe the katsu sauce the teriyaki sauce or a hoisin who knows let's roll to wednesday and see what i ended up having <laughs> happy wednesday my lovelies happy hump day oh my god i am so happy it is the middle of the week and it's been one of those days at work and yes i'm hungry update the nail is still bad it's very sore and it's very bad but today what have we got what have we got salmon and noodles 
I was going to do like a teriyaki style, but then when I looked through the sauces, we had a couple of like a katsu curry. So what I'm thinking is I've put a few little extra veggies in. Not going to eat them all, but I'm going to have a little portion of the noodles left over for lunch tomorrow. So kill two birds with one stone. I quite fancy katsu noodles tomorrow. So you would have seen a little pan over what we got, but let's go through it nonetheless. We have our salmon fillets i'm using the whole wheat noodles these were just what we had left over from tesco as i say apologies for the nail we've got three onions there's another two back there one pepper some baby corn baby tomatoes mushrooms tender stem broccoli and green beans and then these are the two sauces so they're both yo we've got one aromatic katsu and then i've got a creamy coconut katsu curry so I'm very excited for that because salmon katsu curry, let's pop you up there, oh my god, is my absolute fave. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly pop in the bath, Mama G will do a little bit of the veg slicing, so you may see that later on. And yeah, I'm quite looking forward to this because I haven't had like Thai, Japanese, Chinese, and I've been really craving the Chinese, I've been looking at my Instagram and I'm like, oh my god, and everyone's getting a New Year's Chinese and I can't because I'm on a health kick, bloody bloody blah. So yes, you'll probably see Mama Jean in a minute doing a little few chopping while I'm in the bath and then when we get it all together, we should have some of the noodles, my lovely, but yes, well, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, if you could just smell this, it smells absolutely delicious, if I do say so myself. So we've got the katsu curry uh, sauces, one is a normal katsu curry, and then one was like a yo sushi special, like a creamy coconut katsu curry sauce. Oh my god, amazing. Right. This only took 20 minutes. Put all your veggies in to stir fry. Put your noodles on to cook. Put your salmon on. Bung your veggies with your noodles. Bung in the sauce, five minutes. Do do da. Put your salmon on. Thank you very much. And I need to give you an update, don't I? Those veggie sausages yesterday, could not tell the difference. I'm so excited to be having them for my pasta bake on Friday. They were so good. So if you're ever in Asda, the fresh plant-based section. They're the caramelised onion plant-based veggie sausages. Oh my god, I'd highly recommend. Um, and also, I finished Chambers last night. I binged the last four episodes. Why are they not doing a season two? There was so much that they could have got from season two, and they haven't. So, I am on the hunt for a new series. I have been recommended quite a few, and I want to try and kind of have a food series, and then kind of like a... I don't know, like a, I don't know, this, basically they're very dark, they're a lot of murder and they're a little dark all of my series and there's one that's just come on called The Reckoning and they're saying it's a limited series, there's only 10 episodes, I might watch this because this actually looks really good. Dead bodies start showing up in a quiet suburban community, the ensuing investigation has dire consequences for two fathers and their families. Does that sound a bit of me? Might be a bit heavy to watch while I'm having my dinner. This is what I'm like. Do you remember on my vlogmas when I watched Escape Room? Saw the poor geezer's head get crushed when I was eating my sausage and mash. No, thank you. Was it sausage and mash? Sausage pasta bake. So, yes, I'm going to try and find something. I might just put on, like, friends or something while I'm eating my dinner. But, yes, I'm rambling. My food's getting cold. Tomorrow, what have we got tomorrow? It's veggie day. The potato, cauliflower and spinach curry. That's what we've got tomorrow with the lucky three poppadoms so yes i do hope you've had a great day as i say happy hump day happy midday of the week but yes i'm actually very excited about this and i will give an update tomorrow on how that tasted but actually should we just give it a little bit of a taste now let's just go because i'm actually getting very hungry and this smells delicious let's just try a noodle oh 
Oh, that sauce. Oh my God, I feel like I'm in wasabi or yo sushi. Right, I need to stop talking and I need to start stuffing my face. See you later. <laughs> so, before you know it, we're at Thursday, almost at the end of the week. Friday is in sight and it is our second veggie day. So, we're going to have another curry this week. Last week, our curry was the chicken fake away. But this week, we're going to go for a veggie curry. And I'm thinking potato, cauliflower, spinach, all that goodness. But, we're actually going to be using sweet potato. So, I picked up... Just a pack of sweet potatoes, there was only 60 pence. So we're going to have that, chuck some cauliflower, chuck some spinach, onions, mushrooms, peas, maybe some tomatoes as well. You know, we're going to have a full veggie curry. And with this, like what I done with the chicken curry last week, because I actually cooked about, I think it was about three and a half portions. So I got some lunches out of that. I'm going to bulk do this and then I can take it to work for lunch Friday and possibly I might have a lunch of it on Saturday. So yes, we're going to have that with brown rice and I'm going to limit myself to two. No, we're going to have the three poppa doms like last week because they actually did fill me up and I had a bit of a crunch. So yes, let's roll on with our veggie, potato, cauliflower, spinach, curry. Happy Thursday. Right. You would have seen, well, I would have spoke to you a moment ago. We've got the potato, spinach and cauliflower curry. But the cauliflower went a bit pappy and Mama G forgot to go and pick up another one. So it's kind of turned into a potato, spinach, veg curry. We've got no cauliflower, but that's not a problem. We've already had collie this week. So I'm going to jump in the bath in a moment. I've had another COVID test. But luckily this one didn't go down the throat. It just went up the nose and was one of them 15 minute rapid responses. My nail is still hanging on for dear life, which is fabulous. I have just had a parcel come from a body bath shop that I may or may not be obsessed with. So there may be a special little haul of that coming for the month of love, the month of February. But... I'm talking about love and then I'm going to like put a right down on it. I just wanted to show you this in the little, little our little catch up bit. I've got a new book. I did see it on Waterstones, but my dad wanted a snood off Amazon and I'm not paying four fifty delivery. So I found the book on Amazon and thought, you know what, wins a winner and I won't have to pay delivery. But it's a true ghost story. So we've gone from like the true murder, the true crime, now to true ghost stories. And it's the haunting of Alma Fielding. It's apparently from 1938 in London. And it just says, with her eye for period DL, her sensitivity to the quirks and poignancies of human motivation, brilliant storytelling, Summerscale has taken this corker of a case and made it as gripping as a novel. So from what I got the gist of, it was a Jewish... Scandinavian refugee who lived in London in 1938 and then I think she becomes the subject of like a poltergeist. I don't want to read the main blurb because it will give a lot of it away but if you go on Google you can read the first few pages um, like free on Google they let you do that so yes I need to finish well I'm almost finished to be honest with my uh, don't what was it how to not give a beep. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Because there's two. There's one, get your shizzle together. And then the wonder of not giving a bleep. So I'm almost at the end of that. Absolutely love that. I think those type of books, like, it does make you put everything into context. So, yes. I'm going to stop rambling and get in the bath. You'll probably... Will I show you Mama G? No, because you're not feeling too well today. So I won't put the camera on her. But, yes. I will check back in with you when the curry is cooking and we can just see how it ends up. You know, it's trial and error. And also, don't moan me for the portions for the amount that I'm cooking because I am actually going to have it for lunch tomorrow. So it may look a little bit excessive for the amount we're cooking, but it's going to do three meals. All right, I'm going to stop rambling, get in the bath, and I shall see you in a bit. <laughs> Et voilà, 
Oh my god, that does look good, if I say so myself. So, while that is waiting to cool down, because it is going to be hot. Are you going to stay there, Cannon? Are you going to stay? Yes. Right. Had a little bit of a mess up with the sauce. Remember I thought I was picking up a roasted garlic and it ended up being a bolty. After I put it in, I suddenly thought... <laughs> Oh my god, that's really strong. Have I put too much cumin in that? No, bowl tea is two chilies, medium. So I'll quickly put two tins of chopped tomatoes and hopefully Mama G doesn't have an asthma attack through the spice of it because it is a little bit spicy. It does smell a little bit spicy, but I don't know what I was waffling on earlier about having the curry for lunch because we're having the cottage pie for lunch tomorrow and then I will be doing the sausage pasta bake as i say ignore shan rambling on tomorrow for dinner because we all know that it didn't happen but i can give you the lowdown on the cottage pie and then you would have heard me waffle on about how to do the sausage bake earlier in the video anyway but yes i'm gonna watch two films um one is called falling 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 under falling down or falling it's about a man who gets stuck in traffic and goes mad basically and then also they've been speaking about one at work called Unhinged. I mean, that probably sums up my life and myself at the moment. But hey ho, so I'm going to have a sit down or watch them. And yeah, I will let you know tomorrow. But tomorrow, you're probably going to see me at lunch. I'm going to try it. It may be off my phone, but I'm going to try and do a little footage of the cottage pie once it's cooked. So fingers crossed. Don't know how we're going to go about that yet. But yes we shall see how it goes so happy thursday hope you're having a lovely week and as i say thank god it's friday tomorrow oh thank god it's friday but yes i shall eat my dinner probably burn my mouth and i will see you all tomorrow my lovelies see ya hello my lovelies happy friday right you're gonna hear me waffle on about the lentil cottage pie in a minute we're not having that for dinner. You will see a little bit of footage that I filmed because I had that for lunch today. And then after that, you will see me doing dinner, which should have been Monday's dinner, the sausage veggie pasta bake. So if you didn't make a note from Monday when I was waffling on, head back to the beginning of the video if you want to see the bits and bobs. But yes, I will now waffle on about my lovely lentil cottage pie, which I thought I'd be having for dinner didn't really turn out that way I ended up having that for lunch so I'll insert the little clips after this and then after that it will be dinner of us doing the sausage pasta bake we should have had on Monday but I didn't do it Monday because I was so annoyed and I didn't have an appetite so yes let's see how lunch and din din's go Friday is here so last week I had a pizza because I couldn't be bothered to cook but it was a healthy pizza express one with some chia batter so I thought mm, I want to try and go maybe another veggie day if I can. So I actually have snuck in three veggie days this week. So I picked up the Asda plant-based lentil cottage pie. This was £2. Thank you, Canon. And I'm thinking I'm going to have this with one or two. No, I'm going to treat myself to two of the chia bat slices that we got last time at Tesco because I've still got some of them in the freezer. So yes, Friday is just going to be a very quick and easy ready meal in you go with my chia batter. And fingers crossed it tastes nice. Who knows? Right, here we are, the lentil cottage pie for lunch. And you know what? It was delicious. Packed full of lentils, carrots, all the pulses, bit of onion in there. I think there was even some peas and mushrooms. But yes, it has such a nice, almost like ragu taste sauce. It wasn't kind of like a gravy. It was more like, well, it looks like gravy, but it's like a tomato sauce. But yes, highly recommend. And I would love to have this with some steamed veggies for a dinner, I think. But, well. So, dinner time. And we have the leftover sausages still to use up. We've got a mushroom. We have an onion. We've got some tomatoes there, a pepper, and we're going to use some fusilli pasta, I think, for the... Well, there's not a lot there, but hey-ho, I know we're reducing portions and all that. <laughs> but we're going to mix that all together, a bit seasoning, a bit of herbs, voila! So, 
we've got chew better because I've got it out of the freezer from the other week so yes what I do cook your pasta spaghetti whatever you do and then all of the veggies that you have fried along with your sausages drain them after because they will you don't want any oil in this so we're going to add the Lloyd Grossman bolognese sauce as I said I haven't heated this up because it's going in to hot food and it's also getting baked well roasted in the oven so i'm going to do that and then let's get these little sausages out these are the asda plant-based sausages that we had left from when we done the veggie sausage and mash they're not huge they are like baby chipolatas so we've got four each which we're going to chop up but i mean come on it's friday so we can have a little bit of a good portion and if I remember correctly these were really really good so I'm then oh, another little sausage in there I'm gonna put the roasted veggies in there and then what we're gonna do just gonna chop up the sausages quickly And then, you know we've got to taste one. Mmm. <gasps> so good. Right. And then, literally, just give it a whirl. So you get all that sauce around, all your veggies, all your sausages. <sighs> Smells delicious. And then, let's get a little bit of garlic. You know I always have to have my garlic. Ain't got to kiss anyone, we're all in lockdown still, so hey, eat me out of garlic, okay? Let's get a little mix around, and then there is going to be some of this left over. What we done with the curry that was left over from yesterday, I've actually put that to freeze, and that's probably enough for another dinner, so that's gone in the freezer, so we've just got a quick lunch or a quick dinner whenever we need probably going to be quite a bit of this left so i'm probably going to have this maybe tomorrow for lunch these dishes i'm trying to remember where did i pick these up i think it could have been panland you know so let me just show you what our little mixture looks like at the moment so as i say you've got everything just mixed around there and then i'm gonna transfer it to these two dishes pop some feta on and then as i say we've got our chia batter apologies for the nails this is the one where the nail bed is broken you see the little bruise and how far down ow and then i lost this one today at work which is fabulous so let's pop these in and then i'll give you the finished product in three two one Voila, garlic chia batter, and look at that. Oh, that is getting in my belly. Look, we make up free once again. Absolute shock. Right, I watched Falling Down last night. Amazing film. I can see why he done what he done, and just in the terms of road rage. I could totally see myself doing that as well um yes i do have quite a bit of road rage always have done even like in my driving lessons i always had oh always had a bit of road rage and yes yeah, really good film michael douglas in his younger days but the curry as well wasn't too spicy the chopped tomatoes did cool that down so that was good and as i say we did have quite a bit left over so that is in the freezer because we've frozen it for the time being and then that can just be like a little lunch or a dinner whenever we want it i cannot wait to get into that and that again guys is such a quick and easy recipe if you don't want to use veggie sausages you can norm use normal sausages if you don't want to use sausages you can maybe do this with mince you could do this with tiny like dice up bits of chicken breast if you don't want to put the veggies in it and you want to put i don't know like bacon bits and bobs like that you can put whatever you want in it because it's literally just cooking the bits off bunging it all together and then putting it in the oven with a bit of cheese 
I was going to have some cheddar, Cathedral City cheddar, you know, but thought better not. And just using up what we've got in there, to be perfectly honest. So, yes, tonight's Netflix. Well, I am going to binge The Night Stalker tonight. It's only four episodes. It's called Night Stalker, The Hunt for a Serial Killer. It's four 45-minute episodes, so it's only going to be three hours to binge. And apparently it's about a man in the 80s. Sorry if you can hear his mum's in the kitchen. Um, it's about a man in the 80s. Oh my God, who keeps emailing me? And it's just like, basically, a serial killer and about him. It's in Los Angeles, so quite intrigued about that. So at the moment, I'm not going to watch the gory stuff while I'm eating. I am going to be eating... And watching Come Down With Me, the normal one, because I finished my couples one. So we're going to be watching Come Down With Me normal. You know, get some get some little tips there. And who knows, I'd love to go and come down with me. I would actually love it. Oh, and guys, we had another disaster. I lost another now doing dinner. I was so scared picking up the tray with the oven glove for the one with the nail bed. I didn't want to put too much pressure. I'll put too much pressure on the end one. And oh, fabulous. So... Yes, going to redo that tomorrow, but hopefully I'll look a bit better than this tomorrow because tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow, by the time you see this, all of these decorations will be done. Christmas will be de christmas -fied by the time you're watching this because I'm filming this Friday the 15th, so mid-Jan, and I think I'm going to put this up end of Jan, early Feb. So yes, if you are watching this in February, please don't worry. I don't still have my Christmas decorations up, but the Queen keeps them up till February, so if you do keep them up, and the Queen does it, I'm not here to judge. So yes, tomorrow is the day we take down all the Christmas decorations. Oh my heart breaks, and I want to get a bit of filming done, so hopefully I'll put a bit of slap on so you won't see this ugly mug anymore. Tomorrow she might be a bit put together for final day, which is fake away Saturday chicken for heats tomorrow i'm so excited oh my god my phone needs to stop buzzing i am hungry i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna eat my food and i shall see you all tomorrow night night saturday is here and you know saturday is always a fake away day because i'm trying to save the money money and i still want to have the feels that i'm having a takeaway so this week's takeaway on the choice is chicken fajitas i love fajitas i love mexican food and Mm. I miss going out so much. I miss traveling so much. Mexico is probably one of the best places I've traveled to. And the food. Oh my god, I'm salivating just thinking of it. Anyway, I'm going to do my version of a fake away. So originally I budgeted to get a fajita kit, but we already had one in there. So that was bonus. So I think we've got a mild or smoky barbecue fajitas. So we're going to get the chicken out of the freezer that we have from the butchers. And then to it, we're going to add some baby plum tomatoes, peppers, mushrooms, onions, and then if we've got a bit of cavalier or spinach spare, pop that in. And I'm also thinking I might, because I'm not having nachos, I'm not going to have my cheese on it, because trust me, when I normally have fajitas, slathered in cheese. But because I'm not having all that, I think I might do a little bit, only a little bit of brown rice. Hello, darling. Thank you. Um, might do a little bit of brown rice just to fill it out a little bit more and have that, not as a side, but just do like a really good hearty fajita that is all healthy. And I'm going to try and limit myself because I don't know if about anyone else, I can get really carried away eating fajitas, like so carried away. So I can easily normally polish off like six to seven. Oops. I'm going to try. Ideally, I would want to have two or three. But if I'm really hungry and I haven't eaten anything all day, I will treat myself to four chicken fajitas. But they're healthy and I've been good all week and I'm not snacky. So let's pop over to Saturday and see how we got on with our fajitas. <laughs> Hello, my lovelies. Happy Saturday. Happy fake way. And God am I starving. So today we are having chicken fajitas. But I'm going to try and have it a bit healthier compared to my usual where, as I said, I could have six or eight slathered in cheese with nachos, da, 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 da. But I'm going to try and restrict myself today. Also, I said I'd look a bit more glam. 
No, I decided today was the day that we're putting the decorations down. They're all gone. There's no more Christmas left in the house, my lovelies. So it took just over five hours. The back room, just wait till you see the vlog. The back room is filled. Like, I need a shed of a shed just for the Christmas bits, which is quite embarrassing. But hey ho, we're moving on. So today is chicken fajitas. I thought I'm not going to do rice. I was going to do some brown rice to bulk it out, but we had a few sweet potatoes left. I asked Mama G to just dice them into wedges. This is what I got, bless her. They're not exactly the wedges I was going after, but hey ho. And then, I don't know, can you see we're going to try and do a little bit of zoom in here without me moving, would you? Look at that. So we have the fajita kit this was picked up a couple of weeks ago from Aldi or Lidl so we've got smoky barbecue we have the chicken breast from the butchers onions mushroom pepper baby tomatoes I'm going to use some cavalinero and then what I'm going to do let's zoom you out voila look at that look at that camera action I'm getting there eh <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do with the wedges is spray a little bit of oil salt pepper garlic you know the drill and then they are going to roast for about 40 to 45 minutes so they can go in the oven and then whilst they're in the oven i'll probably chop what will i chop today i might do the chicken mum can do the vegetables so you might see a little time lapse of that and then when there's about 20 25 minutes left we will wok everything in the wok wok everything whack everything in the wok put our seasoning add a little bit of you know pizzazz i might actually i've got some paprika if I put paprika in, I can't tell her because it's going to be too hot for her. And we all know she don't do spice. So, yes, let's put some seasoning on my wedges. Let's start some chip chopping. And happy Saturday, my lovelies. <laughs> Hello, my lovelies. Right, the food is cooking. So I thought we'd have a little catch up. Sorry, you're so far away. You're on the tripod, and I really cannot be bothered to get you down, to be perfectly honest. But you would have seen your girl poured herself a gin and tonic. It was a Whitley Neil Pink grapefruit delicious i think i need to get myself a big bottle of that and two of my bottles of that lamb and what what and lamb cucumber tonic water that i picked up from home bargains another favorite actually so divine dinner is slowly cooking oh my god i need to fill you in on my series last night right let's go and check dinner just in case shall we Let's have a look. Oh, God, you're taller than me. Let's have a look. That series I watched last night. Oh, my God. Let's have a look. Where can I pop you? Let's pop you there. So, yes, I watched last night The Night Stalker. It's only a four-part... Sorry, there's some light right shining right in my face. Um, it was only a four-part series, The Night Stalker on Netflix. Oh, my God amazing binged it all last night and yeah they're like my god american serial killers are on a whole nother level like need to check me potato wedges but tonight i'm actually gonna watch the pembrokeshire murders yes i still got my christmas meat um it's the one on itv apparently about a man in wales ooh, who ended up killing people but then went on bullseye looking very really nice so yeah, so that's a three part. So that's like three hours for me to sort you tonight. 
this is just cooking along nicely, smelling rather delicious. Let's turn that down. Ta -da! I have sweet potato wedges and three. I'm only having three wraps, but they are kind of small, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna go and get another one later. But yes, I've just set up Pembrokeshire Murders, so keep tuned on my lifestyle Instagram because I'm more than likely gonna be telling you all about it on there about how I just love serial killer documentaries um last night I had a little rant about the Netflix one and excuse me Mumji, trying to talk here um yeah so keep an eye out on the lifestyle I'm gonna finish this and I say I do hope you've enjoyed our little montage once again a week I do apologize about my bra I'm just chilling there but you know, when it is Mother Nature, they're too sore. They are, yes, every woman will know the pains that you can get. So, yes, they're just, they're not even getting suffocated tonight. But, anyway, I need to stop rambling because my food's going to get cold. I'm going to watch my Pembrokeshire murders. And I think after this, this isn't the end of the vlog. I think after this, you're going to hear me talking about some snacks that I've got. Yeah, we'll get some snacks. So, I'm going to eat this. It's... Smells delicious. I think it's going to be good. Maybe a little bit spicy. Hey ho, but yes, Shan, stop rambling, eat your food, and get on to previous Shan talking about the snacks. And last but not least, as I said, I did pick up a few snacks. So, I thought these were fab. They didn't have cucumber bands, which I was slightly sad about, but hey ho. So, they do three little share bags. Well, not share bags, snack bags. That's it, Shan. Three for a pound. So I picked up some carrots and then I also got how cute are these? Three mini peppers. And ideally I did want the cucumber, but I did pick up a big cucumber. So I can always chop that and be done with it. And then other oh got some milk. That's always handy to have in. And sometimes I like to put a bit of milk in my curries when I do it. So would I have added that in my curry? Who knows? Don't really know just yet. But yeah, so that is our weekly shenanigans to be done. And let's see how we ended up. Well, as I say, I'm filming this the week prior, so I have no idea how I got on. Did it go well? Was it a flop? Anyway, I need to stop rambling. You would have seen all that, and let's get on with the outro. <laughs> so, my lovelies, that is another week done. Another food supermarket ticked off the list, all under 30 quid, and good good meals. Asda, I think, did Asda beat Tesco. I think it might have done. The highlight of the week for me was actually the vegan dishes. The vegan sausages, oh my god, I will be picking them up now as opposed to the Tesco finest caramelised onion ones, which are quite calorific. And I can get me vegan caramelised ones. And also the lentil cottage pie. I really, really liked that. But what did you think? As I say, please let me know what your favourite meal of the week was. But I think we've done pretty well, my lovelies. As I say, trying new bits and bobs. And it just goes to show that we can do a weekly shop under 30 quid. I know, like, I got carried away and I got the mug and that. But, hey-ho, the food itself was under 30. Um, I'm not too sure what my next supermarket will be. I have a list and I'm basically just picking them at random and then ticking them off as we go. But we've not got too, too much meat left. So I think we may have another one or two supermarkets using up the bits in the freezer at the moment and the cupboards and bits and bowls. And then I'm going to probably do an upload where we stock everything up. So it'll be a day we'll go to the butchers. We'll probably go and get some bits from the fishmongers possibly go to the farm shop as well and then i'll probably just do a stock up of all the tins and sauces and bits and bobs i really want to just run everything down completely and then it's done we haven't got to worry about it and then all you need is veg obviously once the bits from the farm shop would have been used up and probably just like milk bread and butter and bottled water because i like to have the main crux of me all of like the main bits ready so then you just need a few fresh bits oh might even do might even do like a freezer stock up as well literally just a whole stock up of food so like we'll probably pop to iceland and possibly the food warehouse 
Let me know if you'd want to see something like that. If not, I won't bore you because you're probably going to think, I don't care what's in your covers. I don't care what you get from the butchers. Like, it's probably not important to you. But if you would like to see that, let me know because I do like to I do like to share these things. And when it comes to food, you know what you girls like. I like me a bit of food. But yes, as I say, do hope you've had a lovely week. Hope you've enjoyed the recipes that we've done. I'll leave um in the descriptions box down below actually, like the dishes for the weeks. But as I say, they're pretty they're so self-explanatory, my lovelies. Like I don't have to write recipes. I'll just write what they are and then in the days we would have gone over like what ingredients were and a quick step by step of them. But literally, they're quick, easy, midweek dinners. We ain't got a faff about and they're pretty healthy. And if you want to try vegan or want to go vegetarian, by all means, I think by incorporating a few days here and there, I'm noticing I do have a lot more energy, to be honest. Like, I don't feel sluggish after I've eaten dinner, which is good. Like, don't get me wrong, the fajitas, I was quite sluggish. But I did go back and have another one. So, yes, I had four chicken fajitas. Let's not talk about that, shall we? So yes, as I say, I do hope you had a lovely week. Take care as always. And if there's anything you want to know or any recipes you want me to try, any supermarkets you'd recommend, anything at all to do with food, challenges, you name it, I'll put it on the list because I love food. Um, anything for me to eat more food, even though I should be on a health kick. Everything in moderation, yeah? <laughs> anyway, take care guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!